What is happening, guys? It's Noshad Khan here, the author of the book Race Champ Part 1, The Oval Tar. And what I'm going to do right now is give you guys a little bit of a live read of the first few pages of the book. So I hope you guys enjoy. It was a bitterly cold winter night, but at the Oval Tar, things were just about to heat up. The Oval Tar was an independent racing circuit, named so because of its oval-shaped track. This is where many hopeful rookies got their start, with hopes of becoming world racing champion one day. The arena had plenty of seating and always pulled a good crowd, which sometimes hid secret special guests such as big league managers and agents who would usually call up rookie racers to race in the world championship scene. They were only interested in those who showed promise. Exhaust fumes filled the air as the crowd cheered loudly at the sound of revving engines. It was time for the youth exhibition race. Four vehicles lined up at the starting line. In the flashy red import was Ryan Rhodes, the local favorite. He was a rising rookie star on the racing circuit. Next to him, in a big green SUV, was Eddie Wheeler a former gangster from the hood who gave up his gangster ways to pursue his lifelong dream of a career in the world of international pro racing. Lined up next to him was the sexy biker chick, Selena Pretorius, on her seductively dark superbike. She had all the men in the arena staring in her direction. Next to her, in a white 1990s second-hand sports car, was Jason Woods, a passionate young racing hopeful who loved racing more than life itself. He sat in the car that his father handed down to him on his 17th birthday. Jason was a young guy, just out of high school, who was extremely passionate about racing. As Jason, Jason's eyes were fixed on the track ahead, he thought back to a couple of weeks ago when he was reading a local newspaper and came across an advertisement that caught his eye. It was an invitational vacancy for aspiring racers to send in their CVs for the opportunity to start a career in pro racing. Jason did just that and days later he got a phone call notifying him that he could come in for an interview that morning. The president of the Oval Tar, Neville Short, who was indeed Short, interviewed Jason. He told him that this youth exhibition sprint race can serve as his audition and told Jason that if he impressed him, he would offer him a contract to regularly race at the Oval Tar and begin his pro racing career. So this was a do or die situation for Jason. It was now or never. There were a few whistles from the crowd as a woman clad in only a bikini with checkered flag designs and black high heels with a checkered cloth in her hand stepped onto the track in between the vehicles. Suspense built as she raised the cloth high up, followed by all four vehicles revving their engines, releasing fumes from their exhausts. Then, in one swift motion, she brought down her flag, and the four racing machines sped down the first straight, leaving the starting line in the dust. The crowd cheered. They were excited. And you too will be excited and thrilled when you pick up your very own copy of Race Champ Part 1, The Oval Tar. You can find it in bookstores or you can even get in contact with me to get a copy delivered to you. So guys, support me, support writers, support reading, support local. My name is Nosha Khan and I'll talk to you guys down the road. Peace!